Okay guys, let's have a look at how you can um, send voting options or create a sort of voting list and send it to your recipients using Outlook, specifically if you are using Outlook. So this video is limited to Outlook only. If you are using anything else or if you think that your um, would-be recipients would be using anything else to watch this email, uh, I'm afraid it might not work, at least as you expected. So. Um, in order to create voting lists in Outlook, all you have to do is go ahead and click on new to start a new email. Now under the options tab, I'm using Outlook 2007 by the way, under the options tab you have the option use voting buttons. Over here you can just click custom and enter all the options uh, in the as you want them to appear in voting list. Each of them should be separated by semicolons. So I would say not just grill okay um, just for the context I'm creating a list of restaurants I want to send an email to my colleagues in office to select a restaurant which where we can go and you know have a New Year's Eve party so I'm creating list of voting list for restaurants so I would say barbecue nation charcoal barbecue and maybe saffron okay fine so I have some cool four restaurants in my city and I'm sending them as a voting list to my friends I, I would enter the name of the recipients over here um, I'm just entering two of my own email addresses for the time being hey guys please vote for your favorite restaurant for this new year is party that's it and I'm gonna send it done now let's wait and here I have so it now over here as you can see it says click here to vote this is in the preview pane because I have not yet fully opened the email I am just trying to preview it in the preview pane so I have the option to vote for one of them uh, these are the voting options which I just selected the vote and the colon is automatically appended to the options if you are viewing them inside the preview pane so if I go ahead and actually double click on the email and view it over here it says vote by clicking vote in the respond group above so over here I can just select the name of the options so now you can see that vote and colon thing is not appended anymore um, that's because we are actually having a full window of this email view so say for example I want to select uh, not just grill I would go ahead and do that and it says you have chosen to respond not just grill I can edit, edit the response I can just send the response now I'm going to send the response now just for your own context it even says you responded not just grill on Sunday this and this date and time so I'm just going to close this window and here you can see um, because I was the sender of this email uh, the original sender of creator of the cre who created the voting list um, the person who responded back has come to me by default so okay, I responded back to myself that's the other thing fine so that is how you do it so you see that it's nothing fancy straightforward just says not just grill that's it and uh, it also says the sender responded not just grill and if I want I can actually view voting responses so um, if I had more responses I would have them all listed over here so that would actually help me to sort of um, track that how many votes which uh, response has received you can see over here reply totals not just grill 1 barbecue nation 0 charcoal barbecue 0 and saffron 0 so say for example if I wanted to actually choose uh, who responded what and what was the majority or what was the least chosen option I could go here and use a sort of uh, silly analytics <laughs> Uh, the totals of each response so that's pretty much it for this particular video guys that's all I have uh, before you use this option do remember this has the limitation of outlook only if you are sending the emails where the recipients might be using some other device other than outlook it is going to mess up I mean they will either receive some weird um, attachment into their inbox that won't make any sense to them and that's it Okay, I'm done with this particular video guys. Uh, do like and share and do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and if you have any suggestions or comments, comment them in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching this video and do stay tuned for more.